was in a car ride back in November and we met at Children's, you know, for hand surgery. He was in surgery for over 10 hours. Um, he lost his middle ring and pinky finger of the left hand. We were unsure what the next day had held. We had no idea that we would be able to play in sports six months later. And here we are, you know, it was just a year to two years, possibly. And we were looking at a 21 day hospital stay if the finger had took. And it's a blessing that it did not take because we wouldn't be where we are now. So due to his extensive injuries, um, it was a very highly complex surgery uh, requiring microvascular uh, techniques and um, it, it's been a long road but he's shown a lot of resilience and after you know countless OT hand therapy visits, um, he's made amazing strides and um, we're just all super amazed at his progress. And we went to Children's for physical therapy and he cried the whole time. He was just terrified. We went back to UAB for a two week post-op with Dr. Lau and Christy Mann and it was phenomenal. I could not speak any better of UAB. Hand therapy, Dr. Lau was phenomenal. It's just been amazing. They have helped him so much and he's resilient. He's came so far. He's so determined. I was heartbroken. I did not think we'll be, we, we would be playing sports six months later, much less an all-star team being the catcher. Like, I did not think that would ever happen. Going to do the first pitch at 650 with his hand surgeon, and we're going to go up and be on the radio for a little bit and speak up the game, and then he has the countdown for the fireworks, and then he's got 70-plus family and friends here to cheer him on. I just can't thank UAB, the Barons, for this amazing day for him. He's going to do the first pitch with his hand surgeon. I mean, I just can't speak any more highly of her. He's just inspiring everybody across, you know, Birmingham, Alabama, and the world. Anybody who knows his story is so inspired by him, and it's because of patients like him that makes my job so rewarding. He just said he wants to be a pro baseball player eventually one day, so this is our dream, we're just living in it.